And now it's 126 years since the birth of Max Linder, the French pioneer of silent film. So in his honor, here's a cast who'll never give you the silent treatment. Alongside me, your director, Andrea McLean. Action. First up, columnist Lucy Mangan has written that for as long as she can remember, her family have had the same Christmas decorations. Our box of decorations is a time capsule, she says. The star for the top that replaced the original angel and the 30-year-old tinsel. But she uh, recently met two people who buy new decorations every year, and you can't help but detect a slight whiff of envy as she describes their eight-foot tree covered in matching bows and baubles. So, is Christmas decoration envy part and parcel? of Christmas? Oh, I don't know about envious. I think it's excess in our house. We go completely balmy, me and the kids particularly. Mm -hmm. Peter's in a bit of a catatonic state, just looking at the state of the house. We just we just decorate everything. If a cat stands still for too long, he gets a bit of glitter in the bauble. <laughs> you know, it's just complete. We have three trees. Uh, the kids... Three yeah, trees? Oh, three, yeah. Well, where? Where? well, the biggest one is in the sitting room. That's a nine-footer. It's actually right to the oh, ceiling. Wow. It's next to the telly, so because the kids like to see the telly and the tree at the same time. And it's covered. It's absolutely covered. We've got 15 sets of lights. The kids like to wind the lights around the banister going all the way up the stairs. Yeah. And then I sprinkle glitter all the way down the staircase. And on Christmas like Eve... Fairy they, they, it's like fairy yeah. glitter. And then they, ever since they were little, they come out of their bedrooms and go, oh, look! Magic fairy path, and, they, and they're in their teens now, and they're still doing it. They're going to hate me for saying this. <laughs> Jeremy and Chloe, and they run down the stairs, and they, the glittery path, the magic yeah. glittery path, goes all the way to their presents. Oh, I love like that. One year, oh, I got them. They made their own little um, baubles for the tree. They made them out of dough, I remember, Ooh. and they were, and they painted them, and they were nice. And then they wanted to save them for the following year, yeah. and I saved them carefully in this tin. And when we took the lid off the next year, they were covered in fungus. And this <laughs> was you, you've made me feel like I've not done it properly because oh. we've only got one tree, and it was the first year that um, the kids were actually big enough to help. I mean, I, Amy could only do the bottom layer, as it were, because you're only little. Yeah. And she just danced around going, isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? <laughs> um, but I, no, maybe I should get, do some more. Get, That's the whole less is more thing is rubbish. Really? Just more. Yeah, you've more. Okay. Andrea, yeah. you've got to have it's a fairy much. grotto. That's what you've got really? to have. Really? You yes, you have. <laughs> well, A, it's not Bar humbug. environmentally <laughs> friendly, oh, is it? To have a light all over your house. Well, I don't know if I ever have, probably once since I've lived there, and that's about 12 years now. Mm -hmm. So uh, this year I have got a tree because I'm, I'm going to be at home and I'm not on my own because oh. I've got Mark, and so it's oh. fine. It's fine. Oh. But it's just one tree, and it is quite big and it's beautiful. Mark put it up, he decorated it, he did a brilliant oh. job. Oh. He did, he did. But Could he only reach the bottom layer as well? Do you have to help him? With that? <laughs> Oh, bless him. <laughs> um, but he went away for the weekend and I thought, well, so I'd better put the lights on because that's what you do because uh -huh. it's Christmas. And I had to crawl underneath the tree to put all the plugs in because there's four lots of lights on it. Anyway, so I was doing that and it did look a bit wonky. We were a bit worried about it, but it seemed okay. So I get under the tree, I put, put plugs in. Suddenly, <laughs> it falls on my head! Oh! <laughs> I'm underneath it like that. <laughs> Oh, and you know, and it's so pointless screaming at someone who isn't there when you're on your own. Because <laughs> it's like, Stop it's you. your fault, the tree's fallen on my head. All the lights, and I thought, oh, I'm going to catch fire in a minute. You could have been like, like Carol McGiffin killed by I know. Exactly. And how hilarious would that be? No, <laughs> killed by funny, Christmas cheer. Oh, you're so funny. I love the baby. I, 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 I have to say, I take Ollie in the car and I go around, and you look at all the houses. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it exciting when you see all the houses? Yeah. When it's they lived in Surrey, it's common. Will you shut no. up a minute. <laughs> <laughs> there was one house I 
that, that had was so covered in lights that everybody came from everywhere and they had a little box outside and collected mm -hmm. them for charity in the end and then the council stopped them. Mm. Bah! Oh. And I just think it's really wrong because it was Why just... Why did got them? Because using too much power and electricity and environmentally not friendly and all that oh, rubbish. Health and, and safety. Health and safety. In case, anybody, and safety. in case a light dropped on somebody well, what else. what if a tree thing? falls on you? Exactly. <laughs> take Ollie round and we see the choo-choos going up the chimney and oh yeah. it's just wonderful I love it but because I'm Billy no mates Aww. Aww. thank you it's a bit odd putting a great big tree up and hundreds and hundreds of lights and me going hello to me Aww. and going oh how wonderful to me in the morning <laughs> but me mum's coming so she'll be able to go yeah. oh I agree it's lovely yeah. so um but well, you have to do it don't you it's not only obviously yeah. you know the time of year where people go mad and decorate their houses but it's the short and fairly intense annual nativity season <gasps> it's in full swing uh, thousands of parents are parking themselves in school halls and also you know churches up and down the country watching their little angels play Little angels. Um, but have we ever witnessed jealousy in Jerusalem when our little one hasn't got the main part? Well, I have to say, Keely was always an angel and I always made her wear a wedding dress because I had to think about weddings and she looked lovely. A bit strange, but, um, but, but as an angel, she looked lovely. But I always didn't understand because she was the most beautiful girl in the school. Why she couldn't be married. <laughs> and I got really angry. And then one year, Prue and Miles, who were her friends growing up, there was one girl who got Mary, her name was Emma, I'm going to say that now. She got Mary, and so, when it came to it, Miles got the baby and threw it across the room. <laughs> and we were so angry that Keely wasn't married, because she should have been married. She was gorgeous and still is. Oh, Keely, so oh, I don't no. get, uh, I didn't get, you know, what it's going to be scarred bit... for life. No, the baby, it was only plastic. No, <laughs> Keely, oh, Keely <laughs> was not being married. <laughs> I know exactly what I she... don't think I was ever in a nativity play. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I don't think I've ever seen one. No, Do you know what I know, it's about? No, well, I, know, I know the story. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I know what it looks like because it's on the front of the Christmas cards and everything. Yeah. yeah. But I thought I thought they'd have been banned, all those things. No! I thought, well, they weren't allowed to do it anymore. Why did you never do any of it? Oh, um, what a deprived oh, child of oh. Carol. Oh. What did they do? Oh. Oh. Knock, they... knock, knock, knock. Can knock. I come in? Well, yeah. I might have done, but I might, I might have had to play the donkey and I might have just erased it from yeah. my memory. <laughs> because it was so, so embarrassing. So I don't... I don't <laughs> You could have been even three, if I was. Been one of the three wise men. Yeah. Or, or I played Joseph. Joseph, I yeah. Was hideous. I was really insulted just because I was the tallest in the year. Oh, I always had to oh, play Joseph. Yes. It's, it's not fun being lanky. Oh, um, Amy, Amy had her first nativity though last week. It was yeah. brilliant. She was a she was a little angel. Oh. Um, and actually, it's embarrassing that you say. It. I just let her wear her uh, bridesmaid dress that she wore to our wedding earlier <laughs> on in the year. Just stuck some wings on. Yeah. And she was fab. She just oh, ran she up and stood at the side and you know waved and all that. It was mm. great. It was lovely. My kids always oh. seem to play shepherds, right. and I quite liked it that they played shepherds because I could make the costume really easy I just used to get an old pillowcase and cut a ho three holes in and say stick your arms in there fabulous shepherd done <laughs> job done and they loved it and we used to draw on it sort of shepherdy looking yeah. stuff but um, I have to tell you um, a friend of mine he's um, grandson completely ruined their nativity play because he like you wanted to play joseph right well, i didn't, didn't want, want to, to play I know, joseph. But he did he wanted to I play wanted anybody but joseph even a donkey would have been well he better. wanted to play joseph so badly and they wouldn't let him he said nope you've got to be the innkeeper yeah. and he really didn't want to play the innkeeper at all <laughs> you know a lot of that uh, anyway so he thought i'm gonna get him and it came to the bit where they could do the knock 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 is there any room at the inn and he said Yes, plenty of room. Come on in. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Completely ruined the whole of the nativity play. Very embarrassing. <laughs> OK, after the break, we'll see whether...